Hi, I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org and today I'm going to show you our Bible notebook. Uh, what we do is we get a binder and we decorate that. You can snap a picture of your Bible or something like that and glue it in there. And then we printed the words Bible notebook and um, printed it out on uh, the, in the computer. Okay, so um, inside the um, the notebook, we have scripture memory, narrations, hymns, character, maps and charts, drawings, timeline, and outlines of each book. Okay, so see, these are the different sections. So the first section is scripture memory. These are the different um, uh, scriptures that we have memorized over the years. We've memorized quite a few scriptures and so you can type those out and then the kids can go over those um, uh, scriptures uh, to relearn them or to review them occasionally so like uh, Romans 3.23, um, John 3.16, those kinds of things. Now the next one is narrations. You can find um, pages like this in on the internet and I have um, some listed in the unit study treasure vault on my site, susanevans.org. And so what they did is they just wrote a summary, okay? So this, like Adam and Eve, we read the story of Adam and Eve, and then they wrote a summary of that story. The same with Noah and the Ark, the Tower of Babel, Abraham, Isaac, we drew a picture. We have Jacob and Esau. Um, you can get all kinds of things um, from different places. Uh, this one, we, we put in order um, all the things that happened in Joseph's life. You could just um, print them out uh, on a computer. You type up the different things and then cut them into strips and have the kids put them in order. Um, Passover, the different things that go in Passover. These are all just things you can um, you can find online, and I've um, like I said, I have all the links inside the United States Treasure Vault of what we used. Um, this is the breast piece of the high priest. They're the different rocks um, that are on the front chest of the high priest. Um, Joshua, Jericho, and Rahab. We have Samson. We have Ruth and Naomi. Um, we have um, Elijah. Where is God? Is he in the fire, the earthquake, the wind? Um, Elijah, the fiery prophet. Also, if you have um, uh, things that you've done in Sunday school, you could put them under the correct um, book of the Bible. This is Elisha. Uh, this is Psalm 1. We watercolored Psalm 1, and that was really fun. Okay, and this is God's Word. Uh, when we did Psalm 119, um, that psalm talks all about the Word of God. And, um, and so what is the Word of God? It's, uh, you know, all, all the different things that you could start with the different letters of the alphabet. We have hymns. A mighty fortress is our God is one of them. And so we drew... Um, a picture of um, a fortress or a castle, and we learned all the words of the different stanzas to um, those hymns. We're going to we can do more hymns also. Okay, um, character. We have um, these different things. For example, um, for character of um, the different kids, we have um, focused on different character qualities that are either weaknesses or strengths in our kids and so um, we have focused on scriptures that help with that particular sin. For example, one of the kids struggles with anger and so we have scripture verses to deal with anger and then also um, ways that you can learn to overcome anger and those kinds of things. For character, one of the um, things that we've used is for instruction in righteousness. This is a topical reference guide for biblical child training. So each one of the um, character weaknesses, it talks about how you can overcome those weaknesses. So that's one tool that you can use if you don't know the scriptures offhand yourself. Okay, 
um, and also what to do, like a lazy person, what they can do to become more hardworking, um, and, uh, and so on. Now, the next section is maps and charts, and we got our maps and charts from this book here. It's called Re Reproducible Maps, Charts, Timelines, and Illustrations, and it's really, really, really good. Um, so a lot of what is in here will be from this, um, this book here. So we start off with the Old Testament bookshelf, all right, and then all of these um, different um, things like Exodus, for example, these maps, um, all kinds of things are their coloring pages, their charts, visually how uh, the tabernacle was set up with each of the um, tribes and how they set off uh, the cities of refuge and where they're located, where Gideon's battles were fought, the conquest of Canaan, uh, the book of Ruth, David's family tree, the exploits of David, Solomon's uh, Jerusalem, uh, the return from exile, uh, the afflictions of Job. I have these. This is from a separate thing that I have listed inside the unit study treasure vault. Okay, so that one didn't come from the, um, the, that book. The rest of these do. Um, Let's see, Ezekiel's temple that has never been built, uh, the four kingdoms in the book of Daniel, the book of Jonah, maps of that, the New Testament bookshelf, and um, different chronology of Christ. We have the journey to Bethlehem and flight to Egypt and where Jesus was baptized and where he was tempted. It's really helpful to know the location of each of these things. That's Herod's temple. Uh, the places where Jesus was walking around and teaching. We have Jerusalem, um, and we made a model of Jerusalem um, with paper that you can see um, on my blog, susanevans.org forward slash blog. It's really cool. It's a three-dimensional one. Let's see. Uh, the Holy Land, the parables, Capernaum, Judea and Samaria, Jesus in Galilee, all these different things. Uh, the Paul's Missionary Journeys. And um, inside the United States Treasure Vault, I have uh, how we did a salt and flower map for um, the uh, Paul's Missionary Journeys. So uh, we have Corinth during the time of Paul, Ephesus during the time of Paul, Philippi, that kind of thing. Okay, now we did drawings, and on my blog, I have Drawing Through the Bible, 31 Days of Drawing Through the Bible, which is my most popular right now. It's my most popular um, uh, blog post because it has tons of uh, drawings and how to do each of these drawings. So first, the days of creation, and we drew it in three separate sections, day one, two, three, four, five, six, and I show you how to do that on my blog. And we have all kinds of different things. We have the tabernacle, we have Gideon, um, and these are shown also on my blog. We have David and Goliath. Okay, David and Goliath. We also have um, the uh, fire down from heaven from Elijah, and we have um, Solomon, and we have Proverbs. The kids could choose a proverb, and then um, there's an antithesis, one thing and then another thing. Ecclesiastes, there's a time to do each thing. We have a Song of Solomon. Activity, that's description. We have, um, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. This is the book of Daniel. The kids could decide what they wanted to, um, to draw from the book of Daniel. This is the writing on the wall. Um, and different things from the, um, this is Jonah, obviously. The boat is with Jonah. And this is Babylon. And the, the people are leaving Babylon to go to, um, back to Jerusalem during the time of uh, Nehemiah and also of Ezra. And this is, um, Nehemiah is rebuilding the wall. 
And then we have um, the, let's see, let's see, fire from heaven. Okay, so this is, um, this is Jesus' time, okay? And, um, and then different things about, um, about that time. Okay, so this is actually, I think this is Elijah. Is that Elijah calling down fire from heaven? Anyways, so we did like the New Testament as well. This is the angels appearing to the shepherds. <clears throat> John the Baptist being baptized in water. Jesus walking on the water in a storm. Um, the wise man uh, built his house upon the rock. Um, all kinds of different, uh, this is the uh, miracles that Jesus did. For example, the fish and the loaves of bread that were multiplied. He went into Jerusalem. And um, this is Pentecost. And then we have, yeah, this is actually out of order, but the, um, the resurrection. And then Pentecost. And then uh, Love is Patient. This is from 1 Corinthians 13. Um, this is the armor of God. And then we had several other um, ones as well. Okay, now there's a timeline section. And if you can back up a little bit, you can see the, um, the timeline. Um, and so what we did is I made an accordion. I just glued papers together. You can also tape them together and do the timeline. The timeline was also found in here, and we just cut them out and put them in strips, and then the, the kids colored them first before doing that. So it's all the way there and all the way on the back, okay? So we could see what happens in time in scriptures. And then the last one is the Old and New Testament, um, let's see, the Old Testament uh, themes with hand motions. This one is the, the outlines of each book. We did the themes, I have a printable uh, that's exclusive to the Unit Study Treasure Vault um, and that has the themes of each book of the Old Testament and hand motions so the kids can um, learn that. And, um, and then we have all the different books of the Bible one by one. So we studied each book in depth. So and it doesn't have to be one year. It could take however many years. So it's like Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, all the way to Revelation, okay? And so, we have done unit studies for every single book of the Bible. We have done um, some unit studies, several unit studies, um, like for example, the book of Genesis. We have lots of different unit study videos exclusive to the Treasure Vault. So we have probably over, over 100 exclusive videos in the United States Treasure Vault for Bible. So if you're interested in teaching your kids the Word of God and making it come to life, each of the minor prophets, for example, I have lots of hands-on activities for each one of those minor prophets. Minor prophets are not taught in Sunday schools aside from maybe Jonah, but like Amos, for example, nobody teaches about Amos, nobody teaches about any of those minor prophets. And so we have hands-on activities, fun things for every single book of the Bible from the Old Testament and the New Testament. I also have exclusive summaries of every single book in the Old Testament and New Testament um, as a Charlotte Mason summary. So if you are a homeschooler and you're used to doing Charlotte Mason summaries, um, you just basically, whatever you remember from that book, it's very thorough. And um, so you write that out. So that's exclusive inside the Unit Study Treasure Vault as well. So you can read that to your kids for an overview of that book before you do a study of that book and then you can watch the videos and do them. You don't have to homeschool in order to sign up for the Unit Study Treasure Vault. Just because it has um, history and science and all the other things, there's tons of videos and hands-on, but Bible alone is worth uh, the membership for that site and you can get a lifetime membership and it could be super cool to bring the um, the study of God's Word to life for your children. This has taken us uh, several years to um, to film the entire Bible uh, for children and uh, make it come alive um, uh, for them. And so I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org. Thanks for watching.